high fashion, which is haute couture, as you would say in France, doing runway shows for uh, Christian Dior, Hermès, Cerruti, Lanvin, Gautier, you know, all the different high fashion houses. So there was basically the five, six cities in the States that I revolved around, but it was a constant, it was literally two, three, four airplanes a week. You know, from, from New York to Chicago, and then from Chicago down to Dallas, and from Dallas to Los Angeles, and I lived in a penthouse suite on the 16th floor. I was sitting on my balcony one morning, and you know, 9.30 in the morning, like most people would do, drinking my cup of coffee, reading the Herald Tribune, and the plane literally came over the building that I was living in. And, you, and then you start seeing on TV that it's been an act of terrorism. You start to realize, wait a second, I could have actually been on one of those planes. After the incident, every time I walked past my window, I could still see the towers there. And I started reassessing my life and wondered, you know, what am I doing? Why am I chasing after the quick buck and stuff? And decided, you know what, there's nothing like home. And I decided to come back to South Africa, you know? I literally left on the 1st of October after the Twin Tower effect um, and I spent uh, two and a half years in solitude on my farm living off the land so to speak and I didn't eat any meat or anything like this I literally only ate vegetables because I'm very capable with my hands to, to make things I decided that I'm going to you know, do some craft work and we'll venture into the market I'm making candles, luxury scented candles and then also Pizza platters for the for the restaurants, for pizzerias. I make chopping blocks. Uh, I make little plinths on the lathe for for the candles. I'm fastidious, you know. I like things to be correct. I like things to have their place, and they have to be they have to be. I wouldn't say perfect, but yes, I do like things in order, you know. And the candles are basically an extension of myself, you know. Everything I make, I try to make it as exact as possible, you know.